Instead of Adobe Illustrator, we will use Procreate and we'll turn the PNG file into an SVG file. Now, this is for people who don't have Adobe Illustrator or they just don't know how to use it. Basically for beginners who just want an SVG file for their Cricut that they might not find online or they just want to customize it themselves. We're going to open up Procreate. We have our blank canvas here. I like to start off with a square canvas and then make all my main elements. And first off, what I like to think about is my main color. If you've worked with vinyl before, like layering vinyl, you know that you have a color that you put on first, which is basically your base color or the background of your entire image. You'll see what I mean. When you draw, you wanna make sure that you draw as if they're layers that you're gonna cut on the crickets. If you have a different color, you make a new layer for every single color that you're gonna have. Now that's one method. That's if you want the background to be a solid cut, but if you don't care if it's like little cuts in between, then you can just make it one entire image. That was probably confusing. I'm sorry. I'm not the best at explaining things. Let's do white. Let's just stick with white. I'm sure this is a okay. little bear design. Tip for when you draw, click this tool, click on prefs, and then right here, you'll see pressure and smoothing. Click that. And I like to make sure that stabilization is on and about halfway or more. You'll see when I draw, the lines kind of just glide and there aren't many bumps on it. I'll draw a circle or an oval, whatever. Hold my pencil down and it should create a nice looking oval shape for me. And draw ears. Hold it down, adjust it. Down. That should be good. To there. There, we have our main shape. Now, I will make a new layer. So my first layer is my main shape and then I'll add a new one for the details. I might change the color of this. Let's make it pink, like I do with everything. All right, there we go. If you want to draw within your drawing and not around it, click the layer and click on alpha lock. You'll see this like checkered background pop up on your layer that means you have alpha lock on and everything that you draw with the apple pencil will show up within the section that you select or the layer that you select rather draw some ears some plain ears this is going to be a, a quick drawing since this is a quick tutorial it kind of looks like a mouse i don't know what i'm doing i guess okay this is something, this is something. Do I know what it is? No, but it's something. There. We have a little character. I just winged it. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just want something simple. We have our three colors. We have our main color, which is the light pink, our hot pink, and then we have black. So our two separate layers would be the main color, which is right here, and then your colors that are going on top. So this is the base and our colors that go on top. What you wanna do, save your main color and the additional layers as separate files. So we'll save this pink one, save image. And we'll go ahead and save the second one as a PNG as well. I went ahead and sent it to my laptop. I'm going to do two different ways. So the first way is having the entire image not separated by layer. And the second way is having the base color and the additional elements on top as two separate files. You can go to this website. This is a PNG to SVG converter. It's free, you don't have to buy anything. I have it linked below as well. Go onto this website and then click where you're supposed to upload your file. We'll try out the PNG file that isn't separated and it pops up. On the side right here, you can choose like colors that haven't shown up. So I like to delete them all and reset. We have black, use this little dropper tool to pick all your colors. And then we have this light pink and this hot pink. You can play with this. So there's smoothness if you want your lines to be smoother. Simplify curves. 
the speckle if you have any paint strokes in places that you didn't notice before but see it now we don't need that once you're satisfied with the colors that you chose from your picture and your settings you click convert let's finish converting you click export and you click download svg now we will do the other one that one we have to do two separate times so we upload the main color first and convert that export it finally the additional file for the two other colors boom all right now if everything works out as we wanted to let's open up cricut space i like to open up cricut design space to test out the files and see if we have to resize them i've opened up cricut design space upload image like we usually do for our svg files if we open up the svg file that isn't separated it popped up here but when you look at the side see that the pink layer is not one entire color and it's kind of weird that's why i don't do it this way i have my main color in the back the other two colors are also separated so then you can go to cut like you usually do let me show you how it looks when you have the main color and the additional colors separated by file as you can see the file that has just the base color came out smoothly and as one piece you don't have to do any extra like detailing when you go to layer the additional colors on top it uploaded our second file for the other layers and when you look to the side they're separated by color so you have your black your hot pink and your main light pink and there you have it now you can go and create whatever it is you're trying to create with your Cricut